New at 11, the investigation of a dog attack in Portsmouth leads to even more charges for the owner. They include weapons and drug charges, and there are still questions as to how he was raising his dog. That's what 10 on your side's Liz Palka has been trying to uncover. What have you found out, Liz? Nicole, police and animal control searched Philip Butler's home and Facebook account after the attack. Items recovered tell us more about the dog and Butler, who is now accused of growing marijuana on his property and firing a gun in his house. Butler remains in a Portsmouth jail. He was initially arrested and charged with having a vicious dog, Yuma, a bulldog. The dog's picture has since been revealed in court documents. Two and a half weeks ago, this was a scene on Kearney Way where Butler lives. As animal control and police work to take Yuma from Butler, who court documents have said was reluctant and uncooperative. According to police, family, and neighbors, Yuma had just attacked a five-year-old girl who lives down the street. The child was rushed into surgery. She had deep wounds on her face and bruising throughout her body. Ten on your side spoke to family members and witnesses at the scene that Sunday night. The dog was on top, the dog's owner and her child were on top of the dog trying to pull it off. Neighbors out here and concerned citizens that have kids on the same street that play with this other kid that just got mauled by a dog for unprovoked reasons. Animal control and police later executed a search warrant to learn more about Yuma and how the dog was trained. They returned a list of items related to Yuma, including four Best Beast in the East awards, a bamboo clatter stick, an agitation whip, do not pet collars, a gun, and vet records. Police also requested a search warrant of Butler's Facebook account. Pictures and videos from it included in the court documents. Investigators mentioned a post where Butler said Yuma had bitten a decoy that then needed stitches. Through that search of Butler's home, police came across a surprise. They found marijuana growing on the man's property and evidence from where he had shot his gun within his home where his wife and child live as well. The only charge Butler currently faces related to Yuma is a vicious dog charge. He's also charged with shooting into an occupied building, reckless handling of a firearm, and manufacturing and selling marijuana. He'll be back in court next week. I'm Liz Palka, 10 on your side. Butler's wife Amanda is also charged with having a vicious dog.